guys, so today I wanna to share another story with you. Today I wanna to talk about 90 Day Fiance, Tiffany and Ronald divorce after one year marriage, a baby and cheating. Okay guys, this is gonna be a quick video just coming on making this announcement that Tiffany put on her social media probably about an hour ago saying that her and Ronald were going to get a divorce. Splitsville people after only one year of marriage. And to me, my first reaction was like, I can't believe it lasted a whole year. But I decided to go ahead and read her posting anyway. She goes on to say, unfortunately, I have to announce that Ronald and I will be separating. I wanted to be the first to let you know rather than hiding it and putting on a facade for social media. Aw, thanks Tiffany for letting us know, even though I really didn't like the guy that much anyway. She goes on to say, thank you guys for following our story. We really love each other, but some things are just irreparable. We both deserve much better than what we can offer at the moment. Aw, thanks Tiffany, we really appreciate that. I mean, enough already, okay, enough! But, you know, it was not enough. Then here comes Ronald giving his side of the story. And he said, sorry to inform you all that I have decided to leave Tiffany due to certain reasons. Thank you for following our story, but unfortunately, it just didn't work. For me, I'll be filing for divorce. And since she isn't even registered in U.S. as Mary, talk about adultery. Now, to be honest, people, this really upset me because I was all ready to wrap the video. Because, you know, at the end of the day, the I didn't really like this couple. I like Tiffany. I love Daniel. But Ronald, eh, he was okay. You know, okay to downright, you know, annoying. And so, you know, this is good news to me. You know, she's saying sorry to inform you. What's the sorry part? You know, so I was ready to wrap this up until I get this cockamamie explanation from Ronald, okay? Now, we all know, people, Ronald was the troubled one in the relationship, okay? He was a addict, okay, a gambling addict. You know, he stole from his family. His record was so bad he couldn't even get a visa into the U.S. Can you believe it? They wouldn't even let him here in the U.S. He was that bad. Tiffany, she was like a soft-spoken, you know, homebody, great mother. And so, you know, the two just didn't match. But Ronald must think everyone's dumb like Tiffany. I love you, love you, buddy. Tiffany, I love you. You're great, but you're dumb, okay? You must think everyone's dumb and that you're the only swindler in the house. Sorry to say you just ran into another swindler who is not buying this cockamamie story, okay? Let's break this down, people. Now, we all know the hustler's rule. When you break up with someone and you don't want to hurt they fe their feelings, you always use the, I'm sorry, it wasn't you, it was the me trick. That's, that's, that's a standard rule, okay? And it doesn't matter if you're in a different country. It's worldwide. That's what you do when you want to let someone down easy. But when you're at fault and you're the a-hole, you use the, it wasn't me, it's her trick. I mean, and that's exactly what this is. Look at this last line, people. Since she isn't even registered in the U.S. as married, talk about adultery. Right there, he just gave himself away. Right there. Because in layman's term, what he really means is, listen, you can't consider it cheating anyway because she wasn't married in the U.S. anyway. So therefore, I'm not a cheater. She's the cheater. Oh, really? Really, Ronald? Are you really that dumb to give yourself away just like that? Did you think the whole world was just as dumb as Tiffany? Now, I'm sorry I keep calling you dumb, buddy. You know, I really like you, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, he thinks he's a swindler. Really? You cheated? And now you're going to blame her? Because legally, she wasn't married in the U.S. So therefore, it doesn't qualify as being married. Oh, God. I mean, see, no wonder you kept getting caught when you stole your mom's money. I mean, you're just as dumb, dumb, dumb as Tiffany. N no offense, buddy. I really like you, but, you know, you can be dumb sometimes. Really, Ronald, really. Listen, this marriage ending was a blessing in disguise. Listen, he was no good from the job, okay? Uh, an addict, okay? In and out of rehab? Stealing from his own family? I mean... Tiffany, what part didn't you get? I mean, you were doing all the work here. So in a sense, he did you a favor. So don't come with the I'm sorry part. No, say, congratulations, guys. I finally got cheated on so I can get rid of the bum. 
And in all honesty, Tiffany, I can't believe it lasted this long. Did you see him going through withdrawals when you guys were in South Africa? He was shaking. He was looking at your wallet. He drive past the casino. He was biting his nails. It was just a matter of time. I mean, please. And you're too good for him. You're wanting to be the good wife. You're trying to be the good mother. You lost 50 pounds. That's, a, that's hard work, okay? You're doing what you're supposed to do in life. You deserve better. No, no, no. Don't come with a, I'm sorry. This is a congratulations. This is your opportunity to go out there and get someone that deserves you. You deserve better. You're looking smoking hot right now. You should send him a thank you letter wrapped in divorce papers. I mean, this is a blessing in disguise. At least that's how I see it. But, you know, I say in every video, we all have our different opinions and that just happens to be mine. So what I want to know today in my comment section is, do you think this divorce is a bad or a good thing? And who believes that it was definitely Ronald doing the cheating? Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.